Hi everyone, John Clark here with DocuSign. I'm a customer success architect within the professional services organization. Today, I'm gonna to walk through how to create envelope custom fields or ECFs that apply only to a single template rather than across an entire account. First, let's review what envelope custom fields are. Envelope custom fields are metadata on an envelope and are used to track, classify, and record information about envelopes sent for signature. The sender enters values into the envelope custom field when preparing an envelope, and the values can be seen on the certificate of completion and or in reporting for those envelopes. This is especially useful if you need to track or classify information that is not included elsewhere in the envelope. ECFs come in two flavors, text or list fields, also known as drop-down fields, and have five properties, up to five. For text fields, we have name, required, shown, and value. The same applies for list fields, except there's an additional property entitled list items. This is where you include the items that are available within the drop-down. Now, digging into these properties a bit more, if the ECF is not shown, the value will be blank unless it is modified in the template JSON, which we're going to show today. Most often, envelope custom fields are created at the account level. When creating an ECF at the account level, the options you choose will apply to all envelopes sent from the account. This means that if you create an ECF at the account level, which is specific to one use case, but not to others, you might think it has to be optional so that it can be used where needed, but not in the other use cases. That's where the template JSON comes in. Today, I'm gonna to work through an example scenario. Tally Corp has an offer letter they use often with their employment candidates and they'd like to more easily categorize these envelopes. They wanna see the number of offer letters being sent by department, month, and in each year. But these fields don't apply to the other templates and envelopes that are being sent from Tally's account. So they want the ECFs to exist only on the offer letter template rather than at the account level. We'll work through extracting the template JSON for the Tally Corp offer letter manipulating the code to add our ECFs, then re-uploading the template to DocuSign for testing. To download the template JSON, navigate to your DocuSign demo account. I'm gonna be working here in the demo environment, which is where we suggest starting to test your ECFs and accompanying workflows. Once you're logged in, navigate to templates and we'll find the template we're planning to use our envelope custom fields with. Once you locate it, click the drop down arrow all the way to the right and then download. The template is downloaded as a JSON file. Now to work with our template, we'll need a text editing application, preferably one that allows you to reformat the code into a more straightforward format. I'll be using VS Code, a free text editing application. Once we have the JSON file open within the text editor, we'll need to identify the section which contains the envelope custom fields. So go ahead and format. And we can see it looks much prettier. And here we see our custom fields section. So within this, you see we have a list custom field and a text custom field section. By default, we have the template usage restriction. We can ignore that, uh, but we can actually use that as a guide today. So let's go ahead and grab the information enclosed all of this within this uh, curly brackets, and we'll come up to our list custom fields section and hit enter. And we'll drop in the template usage restriction format that we've copied. Now we can remove the field ID as that will be updated automatically when you re-upload the template to DocuSign. We need to change our name. We're gonna start with our department drop-down field. We'll change required to true and show to true. 
since we want our senders to see that. Value will be blank. We'll remove the all options. Add a comma, hit enter. Now we'll put in our list items property and we will list out our options. So Tally has four departments. We'll add HR. We're going to separate those by commas, sales, customer service, and operations. All right, that's it. We've got our first custom field. Now we want to add a second field, a drop down field for month. So we'll add a comma after the curly bracket. And let's grab all of this above and copy it to make it easier for ourselves. We'll change the field name to month. Required true will leave the same value. We will leave blank and then we'll add our months per year. All right. Now we've got our department and month fields. Finally, we'll add a text custom field for year. So we'll add a comma after the existing default template usage restriction field. We'll hit enter and we'll paste this. We'll remove that comma. And again, we'll remove the field ID. Since DocuSign will automatically apply that, we'll change the name to year. Update to required true, show true, and our value will be blank. All right, now let's save our changes. Now, if we try to add this to DocuSign, we'll get an error since the template ID is matching an existing template within DocuSign. So the first thing we'll do now that we saved, we'll hop over to DocuSign and let's delete our existing template version and we'll click on new, upload template. Then we'll find the template JSON we just edited, load that up and let's check it out. Click on edit. We scroll down, now we see our department, our month, and our year envelope custom fields. Now to test, we will click on use. We'll now see all three here and the red asterisk indicates that they're required. So we're sending out a new offer letter in this month. We'll go ahead and select June, enter our year obviously fill in the rest of our recipient information and hit send. Now this information will be tracked and reporting and show up on the certificate of completion. I hope this video was helpful. For more tips and tricks, please subscribe and check out our other videos in the channel. Thanks.